Okay, so at the interests of continuing to evolve as a Renaissance man and trying to gain new skills and new knowledge every day, I am going to try my hand at casting in brass. So this is my first step. I'm 3D printing the form for the pirate medallion from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And I found a, an STL file for that. So I'm gonna print one out here in PLA plastic. And I'm gonna use that as the form for a sand cast mold. And then I'm gonna use my new um, metal foundry to melt brass, pour it into the mold, and then see what we get. Polish it up and uh, hopefully in the end have a solid brass Pirates of the Caribbean um, creepy pirate coin medallion. So let's see how it goes. Okay guys, here's the result of my 3D printing of our pirate coin medallion. It's pretty thin, which might end up being a problem um, with using it as a form in the mold here, but we'll find out. So what I'm gonna do is it fits perfectly in the flask, so that was a coincidental nicety. So I'm gonna pack it with green sand. Uh, it's not actually green, it's just called that for some reason, um, which is used for sand casting. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's not really like beach sand. It's, it's more, it's very fine, so it can get into the nooks and crannies and it holds its shape when it's compressed. So I'm going to make a mold, a sand mold out of this uh, with green sand and then we're going to take it outside and uh, cast it. So here we go. Okay guys, so I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. There's a lot of fine detail in this cast, and it's very thin, um, and a couple of pieces loose. I'm just going to see if I can tap those out. So you'll be able to tell that there's a skull in there, and there's some kind of a design, but you can see here his, some of his teeth and his eyes and parts of his nose didn't quite uh, make it they stuck in the in the form in the in the plastic form because i guess i didn't uh, put enough powder on them but i actually think i think that might look kind of cool um being a little jacked up like that and give it a little bit more pirate authenticity all right so here's my my fill spout here um i'm not gonna have a vent outlet, I don't think, um, which may cause a problem. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just cut a small one right here. So this is a place for extra metal to escape. It kind of lets a little bit more through and ensures to some degree uh, that there are, aren't any bubbles or voids um, in the medallion itself. It's just something that I'll have to cut off uh, and sort of polish up at the end. Ideally, oops. Ideally, that would go all the way out, like there would be a vent here. Um, but let's see what we can do. All right, we'll give it a shot, see how it turns out. Uh, oops, I also have to carve can't forget to carve the slot in this side, even though there's a, only a very faint impression of the back of the medallion, you're still going to want to be able to have the metal uh, fill in there so it's not just blocked. Okay, let's see how it goes. 
Okay guys, here's my outside setup. I have the mold clamped in right there, ready to be poured. I'm gonna use this uh, small crucible. The scrap brass is mostly um, shell casing, rifle shell casings with the primers removed because those have a lot of lead in them and we don't want that. Um, some brass nuts and bolts, uh, a couple plumbing parts and some scrap um, plate brass from an old, an old project. Um, there's the mold. If there's overflow, if there's more, which I assume there will be, I'm going to pour it into these little ingot molds and that, and that old that old crucible if I need to. Got my gloves, my crucible tongs, and then over here we've got the forge. So I, I built this out of an old uh, party time helium tank like you can buy at Walmart and bring to a party and fill up a bunch of balloons. Uh, my son and I had a lot of fun with helium balloons at Plague School last week. And then uh, the burner I built out of uh, plumbing parts, essentially. And then the tank is way back there, away from the fire. So um, I think I hear the peanut gallery worrying a little bit about pouring metal around all of these wood chips. And I can assure you there was um, three feet of snow on top of them all winter, which has subsequently mel melted. They're very wet. I'm not terribly worried about it. And I'm also too lazy to clean up right now. So let's get this bad boy lit. Okay, here we go. So we've got our small crucible full of scrap brass. Put that right on the base. There's a fire brick in the base to make a flat surface, which works pretty well. Here we go. And that's with the valve not very open. So let's give it some extra juice here. Okay, we need to increase the pressure. All right. It doesn't seem to be burning as hot as it was during my test quite sure why that is. I wonder if my propane tank is running low. Let's see here. That doesn't seem to be. Let's try that again. Okay. Now we're talking. This thing is mildly frightening. For some reason, when I put the lid on, if I put the lid on completely, it makes the gas flow um, sort of intermittent and pulsating. So I need to do some research into that, but we can put it on part of the way here just to help contain some of the heat. Well, let me try it again. Yep, that doesn't work. Apparently it's getting robbed of air. Apparently, maybe I don't have enough air coming in through the rear of the, uh, the rear of the, burner or maybe my uh, the orifice is the wrong size nothing worse than an incorrectly sized orifice all right let's give this a minute to melt and we'll check back in all right this is about three minutes later look at the heat coming off of this monster everything inside is red hot you can see the shell casing starting to crumple down starting to melt so we'll give it a couple more minutes to melt down and then I'll add some more. Okay, we're gonna shut this down for a minute so we can add some more brass. All right, try to be relatively quick about it. And my gloves, very important. Wow, that's hot. It is bonkers crazy hot in there. Okay. Hopefully this one will fit. No, it's not gonna fit. That's too big. Get that to drop in properly. Okay. 
thing is working beautifully. Whoop. It's working beautifully and terrifying me only a little. Up. Not sure if it'll start on its own without fire, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, no problem. Did not need a match. Where's my other glove? Oh, here it is. Okay. Alright, let's keep going with the melt. Okay guys, looks like everything's melted except one bolt and I'm wondering if I got tricked and that that was just a brass plated steel bolt. So this won't, this forge won't melt steel without adding uh, some more hardware to the burner system. So I'm going to turn it off and yank that bolt out and see how the rest of the mold is going, or the rest of the melt is going here. steel for sure. It's not even soft. All right. So it looks like we're doing pretty well here. Let's see if I can stir it a little. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow, that's hot. Okay, there's a good amount of molten brass on the bottom there. I'm trying to figure out a way to get that dross out. There's a certain amount of dross on the top. I could probably use... Hmm. I wonder if I could just use the end of my tongs here. And that's too... Too short. Try the graphite rod again. Yeah, I just can't keep my hand in there too long. Because it's so bloody hot. Alright. Okay, I think we're going to turn it back on, heat it back up, and see if we can pour it as it is. This stage is I just want to get the um, brass, you know, hotter than the melting point, so it's very fluid, so it pours easily. Yeah, this crucible is, it's, I don't have a tool close at hand to get that dross out, so we'll see how it goes. All right, we're going to heat it for a few more minutes. I was able to use that steel bolt that had uh, stowed away in our brass, scrap brass, and I was that on the end of a channel locks to get a bunch of the, the dross out. So the steel bolt made itself useful. Okay, we're getting there. We're going to pour uh, probably in about three or four minutes. Okay, guys, I'm a one-man show here. I don't have two cameras, and I don't have uh, a, a helper, so sort of low budget. So I've got to set you up here. I'm going to turn off the burner, pull that um, crucible, bring it over here, and see how well we can do. Okay. 
Okay. A lot of junk left in there, but not a horrible pour. We got it in there and we were able to pour one extra little ingot. Okay, operationally not bad for a first try. You know, even if this, uh, there's our little brass ingot, overflowed it a little bit, but we'll polish that up, it'll look kinda cool. Um, as far as the furnace system working, I am thrilled. I'm really psyched with how well this thing is working. Um, the mold is questionable, we'll see how the coin turns out, and also that crucible, um, is so small and I didn't have a tool readily handy to get the the dross out. That's, that's the impurities that sort of float to the surface. Uh, usually you spoon those off uh, before you pour, but I, I just couldn't get in there. So writing down our mistakes for next time. Okay guys, it's been a couple minutes, so this thing's still gonna be wicked hot, but I'm impatient. I wanna see what we have here. So let's get this sucker out of its confinement. Ooh. Wow. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Ow. <laughs> How? Let me get my tongs. How about that for a first try? Huh? <laughs> I love it when plans work. All right, I'm gonna clean this sucker up and then we'll take a look at the finished product. Okay guys, check it out. I wire wheeled it and then put it on the cloth wheel with some polishing compound. This is way, way better than I expected. Look at that bad boy. My son's gonna love it. He's a huge fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, everything pirate. So for a first attempt, not too bad. This is the only brass we had left over. I poured that sloppy uh, one ounce ingot and then this was left in the bottom of the crucible and that's it. So very efficient. This is the crucible we used. Not quite as shiny as it was, but um, still could still take plenty more firings. And for my next project, this monster, the six pounder. But I don't know what to do. So if you guys have any ideas for something to cast in brass, bronze, copper, or aluminum, let me know. I'm looking for a, a nice project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a frame to hold my sand mold um, so I can, you know, make something bigger than, than with just that little flask that we used this time, but not bad. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Arr.